Earlier today, we recorded an experiment using love balls, which should be of interest to anyone that likes to masturbate during the show. We'll remove them from my nanny later, but first, let's go outside. Horrible out here. Really. Wet and shitty. I feel a right twat in this hood, but uh, according to John's agent, he doesn't have to come out when it's raining. Whoops, nearly trodden dog shit. You're supposed to shit over there, Shep. The back. Anyway, I'm out here to test this new invention from a young man called Stephen Jobs. First thing I've got to do is make sure it's on. Then I have to pull up this stupid aerial. Now, two things I must do. Firstly, by the magic of television, you'll be able to see Johnny in a nice dry studio. Then, the second thing I'll do is phone my bloody agent. Now, this phone, it's so mobile that there are literally no cables. So, let's see if it bloody works. And it's ringing in the studio. Hello, John Noakes here. Hello, John. Once again, you've managed to avoid coming out in the rain. Unbelievable. What's it like out there? You know exactly what it's like. Suppose you're all dry. Hello, it's lovely and dry and warm. Just so you know, your dog is shitting all over the lawn and I'm not going to pick it up. But, John, perhaps you could tell our younger viewers, white as you, don't think you should have to come outside. And that's where I think we should leave the boys bickering about the weather. Now, Stephen's phone is actually his 14th prototype he's been working on, and it's very intelligent, lots of very clever circuits and things, all housed in here. Far too intelligent for you and your little prepubescent brains to understand, but it's such an intelligent phone, he actually calls it his iPhone. Well, we all know who's got the better agent. Yeah, me. I was going to say we'll settle this outside, John, like real men, but you don't like coming outside in the rain. <laughs> oh, all right, if you insist. Oh, I do. One bunch purvis, that's what they call me. <laughs> and that's it. He's unbelievable. That's it. I think we've proved that Stephen's invention actually works and that John Noakes has a very small cock. Stephen hopes, going forward, technology will allow him to incorporate a computer into his mobile device, or maybe even a touchscreen or a viewing camera to see people on the other end of the line, um, add music, maybe a video camera, free porn. Well, it's all very exciting, but from me on the roof, it's back down there to a wet pista. Peter? Well, whilst we've got our cameras out of doors today, it did seem a perfect opportunity to pick up this dog shit. I was actually going over there to do it, but then I thought, Shep's not my dog, so why should I? I mean, it's like a major disaster area down here at the moment. Very shitty, pointless doing anything, so I'll have to leave that to another day. Something I will point out, though, while we're out here, is that the grass... Because if you remember, when we were out here in the summer, it was very parched and brown. Well, now it's lush and green, because the shit's doing it a lot of good. As for myself, I don't actually like it. The cameraman's nodding in agreement too. So from a wet and shitty lawn, I'm off to help Leslie remove her love balls.